Hey everybody, this is Arnetta from Arnetta Caldwell. At yahoo.com or Arnetta Caldwell. On YouTube, just look me up. Um, I have, I'm starting to prepare a quick fix, which is my flair. It's always going to be my flair. Um, I do have some cooking experience, of course. Um, I've cooked for um, several um, nursing homes or what have you. Um, right now, let me turn the volume off. Of this family feud <laughs> anyway um I've got some things here I've got um, some chopped ham that I had in the freezer from Thanksgiving I cut up some celery I cut up some peppers in this pan I've got about a tablespoon of oil and some carrots about to be marinated. I've also got a pot with some leftover rice and a mixture of ground sausage and hamburger that I had also froze. And um, y'all will find that um, I freeze. You can freeze about any and everything. And I did, and I like to make fun dishes for me and my husband. Um, those, um, you might be able to hear the carrots cooking a little bit. I'm trying to find me some oregano. I'm gonna use a dash of oregano. I'm going to use a little bit of sea salt. I'm going to use some pepper and a little bit of soy sauce. So I'm getting that all together. And I've got some um, whole eggs that are in the carton and they come in handy for every everything. So I'm gonna use those up. Because I need to go buy some whole eggs. But I'm going to use those up. And we don't waste food here. So that's why I'm doing my own take of um, some fried rice. So, and I didn't get to tell you that in the beginning. So I'm stirring in my carrots. I'm going to pour in my ham. The ham was cooked. Most of it I chopped up in um, the crock pot for Thanksgiving. And let me tell y'all a little story. Um, I haven't had an oven in about two months. A little over two months. We've been in this place since March 13th of last year. And we ordered new appliances. So, lo and behold, about two and a half months back, um, my uh, oven stopped baking, so I haven't been able to bake. So um, for Thanksgiving, I cooked a crock pot ham and um, put me some celery in there, put me a couple of apples in there, a te uh, teaspoon of apple cider, some brown sugar, mustard, and um, put that ham in there. And you can see it's only taking five seconds. And this daggum ham is shred in shreds. So with that, I'm going to try to um, dump the rice in there. I dumped the ground beef and the sausage that I had dumped in there.
that'll be chunking out into the rice. I was hoping it would have came out. Husband's at work, and I'm playing in the kitchen as usual. So, now, we got the rice dumped in there. So, that's the rice. Make sure you mix that up good and let it uh, saute a little bit. Let it um, saute and marinate and the rice warm up. And of course, right about now, everything doesn't have to be cooked to perfection. You're going to have some crunchy vegetables because it's going to sit and you know, let it cool. And then you're going to put it in the refrigerator. I'm going to have a bite for lunch, and then the rest is going to go with the husband to work tomorrow. Um, if you've got green peppers, hot peppers, red peppers, you can do that. If you want to do onion, you can do that. And I'm cooking it on medium so that the rice doesn't stick a lot. Get it all chunked up. You can see it. That's why I have to use a little stronger spoon. Chunk up the rice real good. And once everything seems to be well blended, I'm going to add the egg. Just a little bit of egg. Y'all know me. I don't measure everything. Give it a oregano, a little bit of ginger. I've got ginger up there. Swing a little bit of parsley flakes. A little bit of Italian seasoning. Just a little bit. Pinch of salt, and then I'm going to stir that up, give that a quick stir, and then I'm going to add the egg. And it's pretty, it's got the peppers in there. So if you want, you can add a tad of butter to it. Once I get the egg cooked up in there, once I get a little bit of the egg cooked up in there, then I'm gonna add the soy sauce. Then we've got pork. Uh, we'll call it half special fried rice. That's what we we'll call it. Because we got pork and beef in here. Let your little eggs cook. And you're not going to see a lot of egg. And then I would recommend for storage, let it cool. Then go ahead and put it in the refrigerator because it's, it's got the egg in it. So you can do this. Have you some egg rolls or what have you. And, hey, there's my house special fried rice. Thanks for watching.